Challenge. There's probably giant birds. Okay, it's October 13th. And our prayer intentions. Oh, and the feast day today is Blessed Marie Rose. Yes. Oh my God. Good morning. How, How are, are you? you? Good. Good. I'm just, um, I'm now sharing our intentions. Our oh, sweet. Prayers. Am I early? Yeah. Yeah, it's perfect. Um, Please pray for seamless travel out of Sydney and back home to Chicago this month, finally returning after 10 years abroad with my Australian husband and two young children. For my eldest son's emotional and physical health, for family friends who son committed suicide at the age of 22 and was engaged to be married, for the repose of his soul and for the family as they grieve their loss. And then I have a personal intention they want to pray for. Um, anything you want to pray for? Yeah, just our, I mean, our nation, we're praying so much now. Our nation, our <laughs> politicians, everything that's coming next month. Uh, but just deep conversion of hearts. It's we'll probably talk about it afterwards, but just uh, a growth in, um, in the interior life for every believer that we just would be unafraid of turning to the Lord within and letting him expand our hearts and our lives. It's just, it's a deep thing lately in my prayer and just in my preaching too. So I pray for that. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, you want to lead? Uh, sure. <laughs> yeah. Sorrowful Mysteries? Yes. Let's do it. Ready to pray? Yes. Ready. All right. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase in the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden. I just invite you for a moment to call to mind a place where you have felt alone, or isolated, misunderstood, betrayed. And just invite the Lord into that place for a moment in this decade. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of our mercy. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging of the pillar. Just invite you for a moment now to call to mind the places in your life of physical suffering. And to just unite those to our Lord's sufferings and ask Him to make them efficacious for the kingdom that would increase the grace within our hearts and the kingdom. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.
O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of them. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning of thorns. We pray especially in this decade to recognize the kingdom of God hidden in our midst, to recognize that his kingship is different than we expect, and to acknowledge that he comes to us as king, especially in places where we have sorrow. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most to be found us. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. We lift up before the Lord in this decade all the crosses of our lives, especially those that seem too heavy for us, those that seem to crush us to the ground. I would just invite the Lord into those places, welcoming him to assist us as we lift the burdens that he allowed us to carry from sanctification. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most the need of the The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to call to mind, especially now, me placing the life of grief weighs heavily, our fear of sickness, of death, dominant. Again, wherever there is isolation and sorrow that crushes in upon us. So I invite you to lift that all up before the Lord and through our Lady's intersection, bring Jesus right into the midst of that love. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are not to the of our sins. 
Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. That, that we be may be made may be worthy the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, is purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech thee that by meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus. Pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary. Pray for us. St. Joseph. Pray for us. All you holy men and women, angels and saints. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. That was so nice. Thank you. Yes. Good to be with you this morning. Yes. Um, best way to start the day. Thank you yeah. so much. That was your reflections on the mysteries. Were, they were so beautiful. You said um, in the third mystery right, which yeah. is the crowning of the thorns. You said, uh, you talked about his kingship, but that, um, I don't remember the exact words, but something like how his kingship is different and that we recognize it. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's <laughs> like, it's biblical first and foremost, and then it's played out throughout our lives. Like, Jesus, the kingship of, of Christ was different than everyone expected, and you know, even uh, my kingdom is not of this world. My kingship is not of this world is another translation. There's this, in, in, in the very moments throughout his life, there was this confusion about his power, his authority, his kingship. And right. I mean, that's still going on, you know, like as we look around at everything today, it's yes. like, where are you, Lord, sometimes, you know? And, and what is this kingdom? And how am I supposed to be in the middle of it with you? And we just have to adopt and beg for the grace, really, to adopt eyes of faith, to, to recognize that he... The Lord's always playing the long game, you know, like he, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just right. like hard to understand sometimes what he's up to, but he always wins. And so it, sometimes in the midst of like a lot of this stuff that's heavy, it feels like there's a lot of losing or like a lot is being stripped away and then being taken from us or the fear about what else might be taken from us. And those are all right. real things, but they're often pretty close and proximate. And uh, uh, my archbishop the other day said something, you know, the basic truth, like we know the war is already won and but the battles we have to fight are just, these are just the battles that are left, you know, until we come to the right. final end of that war. And so we just got to right. kind of down and know that the, the long game is accomplished in the Lord and this kingship reigns over all of this. Right. It's just sort of also hidden right in the midst of all of it. Yes. And I, I always like to think that, um, that his ways are not always our ways. They're just, they're unique it's subtle and they're often one of love and and so it's it's sometimes it's hard i think right now especially during all of this struggle and this pandemic it's i just keep trying to like repeat that to myself so that you you know and understand what does truly matter but um another question we wanted to ask you is how we can help a beginner in prayer yeah. Like maybe just even explaining it to them how, yeah. Yeah. That's like the question. And that, like, if there's <laughs> going to be any solution to the world and the mess, it's going to be interior lives. It's going to be people who decide to let the Lord make mm -hmm. them saints because we don't accomplish that on our own. We have to let yeah. the Lord raise us up to the, to the place he wants us for our families, for our friends, for our world. And that happens right. through prayer. Like if we're not, ourselves praying deeply if it's superficial prayer or if it's no prayer mm -hmm. um, we can we just can't be surprised that the mass perpetuates and the darkness kind of seems like it creeps forth because it's only through mm -hmm. intimate knowledge of the lord that the kingdom is extended that he uh he wants to use us in the advancing of the light mm -hmm. and put us to work we would be a city you know set on a mountaintop to shine before the nation so right. first and foremost like as we ask that question about how do we teach other people to pray or how do we mentor others in the interior life we really have to be honest with ourselves about our own interior life and make sure that we're 
<laughs> always acknowledging that we're never praying as much as we, we could and should, and that right. uh, the Lord is always quietly waiting for us in the, in the inner chamber of the heart, um, wanting to be alone with us. But then, you know, I, lately, I think the answer to this question probably would change all the time. That's the how we teach people to pray or how we walk with other people when they're trying to learn how to pray. And for me lately, it's been like a lot less about um, methods and, and learning mm. techniques that we teach people and giving them three or four or five steps. Those are all helpful. And, and personally, those were um, tremendously helpful for me on my journey. But, but lately, it's really been um, just about simplifying for people what prayer is. And, and not making too yeah. big a deal out of it. Um, right. it's, it's like most important that we're praying, that we're giving time to the Lord, and then later we can work on what we're doing within that time. But St. Mm -hmm. Teresa of Avila has always been my go-to on this. She was asked, yeah. she was like this warrior for the, for the Carmelites and for the world. She's one of the, the truly great feminist saints, like a, a strong woman, a yeah. feminine, you know, no, nothing confused yeah. her. No. And, uh, when she was asked about prayer, she said, I'll paraphrase, but she said, prayer is nothing other than intimate or familiar conversation between friends. It is just mm -hmm. spending time alone with the one. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. that's so <laughs> Let's just not make too big a deal out of what it is. Let's just realize that we need to converse with God who loves us. And uh, how would we speak with a friend? And granted, he's not the same as a human friend. But he does call mm -hmm. us friends in the scriptures, and that means there's an intimacy, a closeness, familiarity. Yeah. That the Lord just invites us to talk to him and to right. also listen to him. So it's yeah. really basic, but uh, I don't know what I found in my life when I started praying that way. And of course, using methods and Lectio Divina, especially, is super important in their scriptures. Okay, right. And we just talk to God and, and yeah. let God rest with us and help other people learn how to do that. Right. That's a game changer. I think uh, the struggle may be so, well, uh, for me personally, it was when I would start like that. I didn't know if I was actually hearing him or if it was I was hearing my thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't, yeah. Um, so I think sometimes it's, but I think when it's him, you know, because it's, you, it's the fruits of the Holy Spirit, right? That's what it should produce. Peace. Yeah. 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 And there's like some basics, you know, like we never, the Lord would never command us or invite us to do anything that contradicts anything he said before, anything right. in the scriptures, anything in the tradition. And, um, yeah, right. it's always hard to know if it's his voice or our own, but, but we start right. to trust our hearts or right. him in our hearts and start to realize that he guides us often less by words and more by promptings. And like you said, that's the Holy Spirit. That we right. he'll place an idea or a hope mm -hmm. or a thought in our heart and he just kind of keeps it there. And he kind of puts blessing mm -hmm. around it and, and other stuff sort of drifts away. And we just sit with it in prayer for a period of time and notice like, all right, Lord, if you have places here and aren't taking it away, I'm going to receive that as your word. Even if you didn't say something to me about it or right. if I'm here contradicting things about it, if it's a gift, it's an invitation, it's a good and you're blessing it, Lord, I just, I'll follow that out. Right. It speaks to each of us in kind of different ways. It's, it's a mystery. Yeah. Do you want to share the, um, your vocation story then? Or like, prompting of the holy spirit there like what that looked like yeah well i mean i, I can share part of it <laughs> you know our stories are always long um, I know. but, but i think so beautiful we love hearing yeah. them well to that question it's like uh i mean so much came down for me to realizing that i needed to be purified in how i understood what i actually wanted and what my heart wanted and that uh i was listening to myself a lot and, you know, like we grow up with our ideas of what our life should look like and how we're what we're going to need to be happy. And we kind of set that right. list of goals when we're little kids. And I had my own. Um, right. And it's good. We have to do that. We ask our kids and, and our you know, children, in our schools, like, what do you want to be when you grow up? And we teach them to dream and to aspire. Right. And that's that's good, you know. Mm -hmm. But I, at least for myself, I found myself a little too bound to that list and insisting that I had to have all these things that I'd always wanted. And. At a time, I noticed that some of them were contradictory, like that I couldn't have them all. Right. Uh, I can't have all the goods. Like, we want all the goods, and that's not really the reality of this life. That's heaven. And right. uh, I had to come to a place of realizing that God would act, was actually like, he knew me better than I knew myself. And uh, so, so for me, it was like, okay, Lord, I, I tell you what I want. I tell you what I need to be happy. But I realized that um, a lot of the things that I want are actually making them happy. You know, I was, yeah. I was getting some of the things in my life that uh, ambition had dictated I should have. And um, that was not mm -hmm. coherent with, like, 
generosity with my kids. So, like, yeah, I had like moving into the lifestyle and the career and everything else that I thought would make me happy mm. or would make me happy, including relationships, moving toward marriage. Um, and I just, at a certain point, when I started to pray more familiarly, when I started to just talk to God, yeah. I realized that I had never actually given God the chance to tell me uh, if my list of things I needed to be happy, if that was his list. Right. And uh, I realized how proud I'd been in my prayer. And it wasn't like really, a, I maybe shouldn't call it pride. I just was close-minded in the way I approached the Lord. I thought I had to like tell him what I needed, thank him for what he'd done, and go back to work. Yeah. Yeah. So in prayer, I just realized, like, God, maybe I've been approaching this all wrong. And maybe I've been telling you instead of asking you uh, yeah. what I need. And maybe I've been forcing my way into your plan and demanding that yeah. your plan fit my life and my heart. Rather than <laughs> saying, like, Lord, what would you make my heart for? And uh, that was a huge wow. shift. Yeah. So I started praying that way. It was just, like, a lot of stuff fell away and, like, doorways opened to places I didn't want to go. Like, I didn't right. want to be a priest. I didn't want to go to seminary. I was scared of all that. But as I realized, like, th there weren't necessarily strong words. It was more like promptings that, like, yeah. he would move me away from sinful activity and toward goods, growth in, in prayer, growth in study of scripture, mm. growth in virtue. And I just started to get happy. <laughs> and I was like, wow. whoa, darn it all. This is uh, irrefutable evidence. <laughs> like, I'm happy <laughs> when I move toward you, God. And that means at times, like, leaving behind lots of stuff I thought was really important, but I was wrong right. about what was important. Right. So as that happens, you know, you start to pray more and you realize like, oh, God's on my side. God's not my opponent. I don't have to wrestle something from him or demand that he fit into me. Mm -hmm. I want to fit into him. I want to become integrated more perfectly into the life of, of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And that involves mm -hmm. death, but death to like the old ways. And, and that's the story of the cross, you know. And so yeah. I just realized that I, was, I needed to die uh, and be crucified with Christ so that I could rise with him. So that all came, I mean, that, that narrative all passes through prayer. Like it's only in prayer that the ideas that we have and right. that the words of scripture begin to like settle into our hearts to realize that the mm -hmm. story of Jesus Christ is being played out again and again in our lives, the passion, death, and resurrection. And um, surrendering to that means dying to a lot of ideas about what we want our mm -hmm. lives to be. But at least in my journey and the journeys of a lot of people I know, we just end up happier <laughs> when we let it, the Lord lead us and we end up ourselves. Right. Right. Against God. We realize that he's with us, he's for us, he loves us, and he knows us better than we know ourselves. It's just, it's, it's, it's a little scary, right? It's like oh, a so little scary. bit of the, uh, the unknown, and you have to just kind of go for it. And then as you go for it, somebody, I think it was Martha, was a guest on here one time, he leaves like little nuggets, right? Just enough to like get you by each day. Yeah, right? totally. totally. Um, Ever, I just, we all love your comment about um, what did you make my heart for? So yeah, I put that up there. But that kind of also leads into your book that you wrote. Yeah, it, I up your about, Yeah, do you want to share that? Yeah, sure. Um, yeah. That's, that book really came out of my own heart. Um, yeah. Lift Up Your Heart. I chose the title Lift Up Your Heart because that's from the Mass. But St. Francis de Sales also uses that in his book that I was writing. This book's based on his book. <laughs> And it just was a series of 10 meditations about um, life, death, resurrection, about mm -hmm. our mortality, about our sinfulness, about our gifts. It's based on a set of prayers and meditations that St. Francis of Sales led his direct deeds through. And um, I prayed through those a lot myself uh, in that journey of, of conversion of seminary and, and into the priesthood. And just realizing over and over again that I had to constantly consider my own mortality, my fragility, my sinfulness. And, yeah. and see my tendency to like depart from God. So the right. book is designed to like help, help anyone who just decides it's time to move more deeply into freedom in the Lord. The book's designed, wow. to, it's a 10 day meditation, 10 day retreat full of meditations just about that question of vocation, that question of identity, that question of um, always needing to be purified in our hearts and, and freed right. from our own confusion and misperception and to right. place our lives more perfectly in the Lord. There's an eternal reality at play in all of our choices every day. We're moving toward or away from the Lord, toward or away from the kingdom. Mm. And uh, I, I wrote that book in front of the Eucharist. It was written in like 10 days. And it was just a pure outpouring of, of my journey and some okay. friends' sales journey and just inspiration. Yeah. So it yeah. was, uh, yeah, 
it's just a very simple book. I'm detached from it because I, I really wrote it for the Eucharist. I don't feel like it was my own work. It was really just mm. with my heart um, being placed in his and his inspiration therein. But it's been beautiful. It's been out for three years now. And like, I continue to get all these really amazing testimonials about how it was a, a major pivot point for people as they, they decided that it was time to get serious about it. Yeah, I, I think it. I think it really. Um, I've read it all. It's it's very very good. They're asking where they can get it. It's Amazon, right? Amazon. It's where I got mine. Ave Maria Press also is. Uh, if you want to support your Catholic publishers. Yes, Ave Maria Press. We love them. Um, but um, it just really helps you to go deeper. I think in in it's it's even like this morning in your reflections. I thought they were so good. It just I think. Just reading and taking all of that in, it always helps. Always helps. Yeah, it's but, just little ways. And the, the, the St. Francis de Sales, um, you know, I based the, the format on his format. And his idea was like, look, we're busy. We're in the world. We're, we're living with lots to do. We've mm -hmm. got to figure out little ways to weave these eternal truths yes. into like the way we yes. mop the floor, the way we put the dishes away, the way we deal with our boss, the way we figure out how to just pray in the middle of watching the stock market, whatever else. <laughs> He's right. Like, very practical. You know, he wasn't writing to monks and nuns. He was writing to people in the world. And right. It's usually right. tiny little simple steps, like you're saying, Chris, into like it a is. little more intentional each day about just letting God be at the center and knowing that I'm in the midst of his kingdom. It's true. It's yeah. true. They um they want to know about oh your image. Yeah, your icon oh, yeah. behind you. I mean, right. Yes. Isn't that amazing? It's a so uh, beautiful. My parish, St. Mary's in Menominee Falls, commissioned that. Um for me as a gift when I left the parish, I had to go back to studies. And so they commissioned that by a guy in Rome, um, Ilyan Rakov. And it's, uh, it's a, an original painting that he had done. And then he's been placing it over, uh, over gold onto this sort of icon format, but it's his own artwork. And uh, yeah, it's just a, I found it to be like the most beautiful picture of Mary I've ever seen. It's uh, it's a huge gift. They, it's twice as big as it's supposed to be. When he ordered the wood to put it on, he, he entered the numbers wrong and he doubled the <laughs> Oh, uh, happy fault, you know, like I'll definitely take a larger image of Mary, but it's big enough. It kind of dominates my room, which is perfect. It's right where <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's so great. Do you also have the Eucharist or no? No, it those are say. relics. No, Got it. John Paul II holding the Eucharist oh. up there in a car, but those are just a bunch of relics. Nice. I've got some dress and St. Francis de Sales is back there. Oh, baby's up. It's always, always so great. Could you give us a blessing? Yeah, for got sure. got a baby who's up now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Yes. What's Bye. 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 She says she, that's like it. Yeah, that's what she knows how to say. Nice. So she always likes to say it. He's going to bless us. Yeah. Let's pray. <laughs> okay. In the, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord God, send your Holy Spirit down upon all of us who are praying together on all those who later will we'll join in this prayer. Okay. Open our hearts to the kingdom. Fill us with grace and peace. Through the okay. intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, may Almighty God bless you all. The Father and the Son. In the Holy Spirit. Amen. Such a beautiful morning. Thank yeah, you. Kristen, thank, thank you. Thank you, Father Johnny. We will awesome. um we'll put your book up too and let them know how they can find you. Yeah, cool. I, I think I told you last time, but all the proceeds go to our seminary. So thanks for supporting Priestly Formation oh, too and the purchase of that book. Yeah, and thank you for all you do. You yeah, do such sure. an keep excellent it, job. This matters. This matters. <laughs> keep it up. Oh, it's such a gift. Such a God gift. Bless, yeah. Oh, thanks guys. Bye.